Ten minutes? Yeah, how you doing? How, how's Lulu? Great, good. I uh, got good news, she got her memory back. Wow. You can see how happy and content that girl is being with Patrick. She just lights up. Sonny used to make me feel that way. He used to take me into his arms and give me that big smile. I just want my boy back. You can't put yourself through this, is what I'm saying. Maybe this is the time that I lost my... That I lost my baby. Hey, our son found his way back to you then. Oh, oh thank God. It's just so we our son up. I said I didn't want cake. Right. So I lied. It's my birthday. You can't lie to me on my birthday. It's sunny. It's a celebration. Okay, cake is non-negotiable, so why don't you stop your pouting and your punching and just, just have a good time, okay, for my sake. Yeah, boy knows how to work the dimples. <laughs> exactly. And his eyes, his big brown eyes. No matter how big he'd smile, you could always see the sadness behind his eyes. Made me want to just hold him in my arms and love his hurt away. Yeah, I know exactly how you feel. I'm happy for you. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I know I was talking a good game that I was going to hold on no matter what it took, but I was beginning to think that that she was changed forever. Not all the feeling. I know you do. So everything's good? Bill is okay? Yeah. You know, I mean, all her memories are intact. We couldn't be happier right now. A lot of people who love your wife, including her family. Luke and Laura must be relieved. Yeah. The other night at the Haunted Star, after you took off with Lulu, I knew something was up. She was struggling. You know, part of her wanted to remember it, and part of her wanted to just bury it all. But I knew if I got her home, she would remember, and she did. It makes sense, because when she gets home, she's remembering things. You know, the big thing was remembering what the Cass and Hines did to her. If Elena and Stavros weren't already dead, I'm telling you, there's two people I would kill. But hey, you know, Lulu made it back. I took her to see Kevin Collins. He said the trauma wasn't physical and that she was going to be fine. To Lulu? So. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, when I left the Honda store, I didn't know what was going to happen next. You know, uh, I was going to go after you, but things got complicated after you left. Yeah, I heard Franco showed up alive. On the yeah, I heard Franco put on a real show at the Honest Star. He he wants us to know that he's a changed man. Oh, really? And innocent, no doubt. He had a recording of his meeting with Cardi and the convict to yeah, break no, Michael. Yeah, I, I saw that. He left that for me and Jason to find it at the, at the museum where he did his performance art piece. But that was something that was staged for Jason. He, what you didn't see was uh, him telling Carter not to touch Michael and protect him. What do you, what do you, so he points, he points a rapist in Michael's direction and then says, wait a second, don't hurt the kid, protect him, and then he considers himself blameless? I don't know what Franco thinks. I don't care. You know, we all played a part in sending Michael to Pentonville. Mm -hmm. You and Jason for covering up Claudia's death, Carly for, for lying on the stand, me for waltzing into the courtroom and playing God and pointing out Michael as the killer, thinking he was gonna get justice and get a suspended sentence. But Franco put Michael in Carter's sights, and I don't care, no amount of made-up excuses is gonna change that. Michael wouldn't have been anywhere near Carter if it wasn't for the cover-up. I conspired with Carly to take the blame off Michael. We let our emotions get in the way. We took the legal system into our hands, and we lived to regret it. I can't believe the judge gave Franco bail. The man should not be walking around. You know, all I can think of is that this DA on this case, Lazaro, he's sketchy, man. Yeah. I, I bet you Franco paid him off. Well, you know what? Wouldn't be the first time someone's on the take. <sighs> Speaking of which, uh, Connie's trial's today. Oh, my, didn't you hear the judge toss a case? What do you mean? Yeah, that's right. Connie's free. Come so, uh, they dropped the charges against Connie? Yeah, Diane Miller. She filed a pretrial motion arguing that Connie was lacking intent because of the DID. The judge kicked the case. Well, that's a weight off. Yeah. 
Last thing I would want is, you know, Connie go to prison for something she can't control. I'm sure she's having a happy birthday. Today's your birthday, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I bought this for way back when she was going through therapy and before she broke it off with me. I don't know what to do with it. I'll throw it away. I don't know. I don't Talking want to about, well, crazy I just, about each other. Well, that's the problem, see, because she says that she she loves me so much that being with me literally drives her crazy. I don't buy that for a second. I don't either. But Connie does, and I got to respect that. Hey, look, I was really beginning to doubt that I'd ever get Lulu back. But we found her way. Who knows, maybe the same thing will happen with you and Connie. What? What the hell is Carly doing with Aiko? She hates that guy. Oh, look who just came. Hi, Sonny. I'm not staying. Just want to give you some. Uh, oh, no. Wait, I... wait, wait. Just did you hear me out. Happy birthday. Don't have to get mad because I bought this. Say, take it. Because I bought this before uh, we broke up and I just, you know, thought you should have it. Where did you get this? What is this? Bansoners. The jewelry store I used to work at, remember? Madden's, yeah. I love, me they, too. I love that place. They were going to shut it down. You know, they were, they were shutting it down, so I, uh, I remember how you used to say that you love to go charm there and that you were going to save up your money and, and buy it. Maybe you already bought it. I don't know, but... Um, Those charms are so cute. <laughs> I like them, too. I used to work there, too, remember? So I went down and I uh, I bought it uh, before they shut it down. I got that for you. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. Uh, I did what I got to do, so I, I'm going to go ahead and go. This is only something. There's something I should know. What? Franco is here. What do you mean? With Carly. Where are they? They're on the terrace. Excuse me. The problem with genius, with understanding everything, is that you're rarely surprised. But you, Carly, you surprised me. I salute your surprise. What the hell's going on? Damn it, Sonny, get out of the way. What are you doing, Carly? Just uh, clearing the air with Franco. I, just, I don't think that's a good idea. You were right. Sonny doesn't seem too happy about Franco being out on bail. This is going to get a whole lot worse before it gets any better. Oh, oh, oh God. Liv, what is it? It's son. His shirt is all covered in blood, I think. Do you ladies need anything else? I think Franco's going to kill him. Wait, Liv. Cardi, let's talk about this right now. Not now. Oh, son. Now. I don't think Carly wants to talk Sonny, about Sonny, you, you got to get out of here. 